Hello, my name is Jen Schlegel, and I'm here with a brief message about the readings that are coming up for Sunday, February 5th. These readings include some very familiar words, and taken together, they're about being light in the world and not light from the world. We're reminded to orient ourselves to the true source of that light, which is God the Creator, Jesus the Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit the Sanctifier. The first lesson is from the 58th chapter of Isaiah, verses 1 through 9a. And here we're told, don't be performative with your fasting, because that's an orientation to the world and not to God. This passage anticipates what we hear about performative practices during Lent, performative fasting, performative prayer. Instead, we're told that genuine compassion for the poor, the helpless, and the oppressed are even more important than checking off these do's and don'ts of what we think it means to worship God. The psalm is Psalm 112, verses 1 through 9. When we respect, um, revere, or fear the Lord, there are many beneficial outcomes. But this means to do as God demands and not as we please. Again, we are reminded to orient ourselves to God and not to the world. When we do that, we can answer God's call to be generous with our wealth. And those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous are rewarded with goodness and light. The next reading is Paul's, comes from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And here we go again with a message about orienting ourselves to the way of God, the way of the cross. Paul acknowledges that any wisdom he may have is not his own, but comes from the power of the Spirit who is from God. Paul writes, For what we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God. And the gospel lesson for today comes from the fifth chapter of Matthew, verses 13 to 20. Such familiar words about salt and light. While the previous passages emphasize our orientation to God and what God is up to, this passage has Jesus reminding us that our orientation to God empowers our commitment to reconciling all people on earth. We are the salt, and we are called to enhance God's work in the world, giving it value and flavor. We are the light, and we are called to illuminate God's work in the world, sharing the good news of Jesus in every act we do. Join me in prayer, if you will. Dear God, over and over, your words remind us to orient ourselves to you and your mission to reconcile all people to you. When we find out our wisdom and strength in you, we are able to join you as salt and light, enhancing and illuminating your mission with all of your children. Thank you for sending your Son who redeemed us and your Spirit that sanctifies us. Amen. I am wishing you a wonderful week and looking forward to worshiping with you.